about your roles as a manager and a leader of your organization? So as the, let's say, as the CEO of uh, Today's Youth Asia, or let's say the president of Today's Youth Asia, which does the job as the CEO of Today's Youth Asia, my job is to look at overall management of the organization, uh, which includes uh, looking at the legal aspects, the finances, um, and under finances, you, you know, there's accounts, there's, there's uh, audits. Uh, I also have to take a look at uh, the, the business part of it, the income, the um, dealing with the clients, etc. So that's on one side. On the other side, uh, I have to look into the administration of the office. You know, sometimes simple things like whether the gate is taken care of by the security guard, or whether the telephone is taken care of by a receptionist, whether the kitchen is taken care of, whether the office is clean, you know, mm -hmm. people are coming on time, the work is done, th basic things which implies to every office. Now these are the things that I think pretty much every office have to have. And if they don't have them, they're, then it's not, I mean, they're lacking something. So in our case, uh, then comes what programs we do, what projects we do, and some other cases it could be what products they sell. Mm -hmm. So now we have lots of programs. Um, some are related to media, some are related to the youth, some are related to the politics, certain things are related to foreign affairs. So we have uh, different uh, individuals uh, heading all these projects as a project leader. Now some of them might be working, have too much work, somebody may have very less amount of work, but uh, all these projects are headed by uh, in different individuals and they have their own team mm -hmm. and they all report to me so I, I have in a way I have three roles one is to look at the functioning of the office another thing is to look at the functioning of all the projects and third thing is to make sure the organization is all intact in terms of legal finances administration and work wise and at the same time in my personal case uh, I am also uh, approached by common people and people in power in the country for, for various reasons like the thing because I personally have committed my life to the country's welfare and, and I am available for um, supporting the good works of the people. Sometimes they also, also approach me just to invite me to their projects or to their villages or to take advice on the politics. And, how the country is moving ahead. So that also kinds of, kind of keeps me busy. Okay. So in which of the following activities do you spend most of your time? In decision making, planning and controlling? In communication or in networking and socializing? Um, networking and socializing, I personally spend a very less amount of time. Um, mm -hmm. and, because that, and that's because uh, my, my work is public. So I don't, uh, I don't have to invest a lot of time there because uh, just the fact that I'm on television already makes people know who I am. And I also get to give my opinion in my public programs. So in a way they get to personally know who I am, although they may not know me in person. Mm -hmm. So that's an area that where I, where I get to uh, spend very less amount of time, um, unless there is like wedding invitations or, mm -hmm. or somebody's in hospital and I make it a point to attend. Um, in terms of administrations, I have uh, over the last 10 years, I have only spent, I would say, the first year and the last year now, I would say, in, like, during from 2002 and 2003, I was very active in administrations. Then last year, I was very active in administration. So, so normally, sorry, <coughs> normally I am I'm not an administration person, so I spend a very less amount of time. So mostly in the planning, decision making, implementations, and uh, something that I do, which most uh, organizations or companies don't do in Nepal, is I spend a lot of time finding new things. Now already what we are doing is very new. It's path breaking. Um, a lot of people try, spend a lot of time and energy and money trying to copy what we are doing. And still I try to find what is next, what is the next thing we can do. How can we make things more effective and more known to the people. And sometimes it can be confused by 
me not being happy or satisfied with what I have, but that's not true. Uh, my philosophy is you always have to move on. The moment you take a break, it's, it's inertia. You know? In physics you have this law of inertia. It's very difficult to pick it up again. So you have to always be in motion. So even if you are way ahead of your competitors, still don't, you, you should not slow down. So a lot of my time is also involved in uh, working on new projects, developing new projects. So can we see that you